What you're looking at, guys, is cat marks trying to climb onto my car. And clearly, they got up on there. Car was freshly washed last night, and they climbed up there with their dirty paws, and just want to ruin my stuff all the time. Which one of you was it? Was it you? Or was it you? Hey, did you put your paws on my car? You denying it. Did you put your paws on my car? Hey, look at me in the face. You won't look me in the face. It was you. I got my eye on you, Curtis. And you, Kiara. <laughs> They've never seen this face. <laughs> That's what I thought, walk away. Don't know why that's in here. That's what I thought. Walk away, dude. Walk away. Nah, Curtis, I'm just kidding. Hey, come here. Come here. I'm just kidding, man. Just don't jump on my car anymore. All right? Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope everyone out there is having a good day. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a TL day. So we're going to do a little bit of painting on the TL, some tinting. I'll show you guys exactly what we're doing when we get the shop. But I hope everyone's having a good day. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video just because I'm doing something with the TL. We're gonna head to the shop. Wait, check this out, guys. I think this is Rebel's new uh, flavor, coconut berry. This stuff is good, so make sure you go get some. I'll have a link in the bio. I was <laughs> just kidding. Before I hop into this video, though, quick story time. Just, just give me like 30 seconds, all right? So last week, my car, this car right here, was broken into. It's not easy to break into this car, but it is easy when you leave it unlocked. So I did leave the car unlocked and uh, I thought I left something in the car. So I locked it, I left and then came back and was gonna grab my notebook. And uh, when I grabbed it, I left again and forgot to lock it. So my car was unlocked for an hour and a half. People came, snuck in here, opened up my stuff, took my charger cord, my, uh, I had some LED lights. They just scattered them everywhere in here. Um, they opened up my glove box and was going through what I have or I had in there, which was empty. I had my, my Acura TL manual. Here, I'll show you. I just got this booklet right here from, uh, from the dealership. Well, it came with the car. And most importantly, guys, they stole my garage opener. So uh, one thing with that, if you take someone's garage opener, next thing they looked was in the uh, glove compartment to get my title, to get my address, to come to the address while I'm still at church, open up the garage, and then they can get inside and take whatever they want. Well, luckily I don't have anything in there, so they weren't able to come to my house, but uh, I got that stolen for me and that was about it. But they did take my uh, my Street Legends Tune in Tokyo backpack, so I was kind of mad. Had everything for construction school in there and uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a rough night. So that's what happened about a week ago. About a week ago. <laughs> Anyways, don't leave anything important in your car. Do not leave your car unlocked and drive safe. <laughs> All right, enough story time. Let's get into this video. I'll see you guys at the shop. Why does it gotta start raining? Man, I can't catch a break. I'm so sorry to do this to you guys, but it's so good. Mmm. Mm, big brother hooking it up. We made it. And I got one more to spare. My beauty has made it to the shop. About to pull her in here. Or back her in here. Of course, gotta clean up the mess from the Integra. Because the Integra is in the process of getting this new intake in. Intake manifold. Let me correct myself. Did I already tell you guys that when they broke when they broke into my car? the uh, tripod for my camera was stolen. Not my camera, my phone. Not to expose myself or anything. So that's why sometimes, guys, the videos are gonna be a little shaky like that. So uh, it's just my hands until I get another tripod. TL is in position, ready for action. Let's talk about what we're doing today. Stupid cat. Man, do I really have to put a cover on my car every night now? All right, so check it out. Let me clean you guys off first. Check it out, guys. Today, we are painting the grill. Not the whole grill. So uh, first of all, one thing I love about the front end of this car is the chrome on the front. That chrome stands out so good and looks so good to me. But one thing I do not like, or wait, did I say I do like? One thing I do like is the chrome. One thing I do not like is this gray right here. 
I mean, it's not like terrible, but I want it all black to match the car. And I think it'll look a lot cleaner. I don't, I can't tell if, yeah, this part's gonna get painted too. So I guess to start off, let's pop off this plastic. We got the plastics off, so that's pretty cool. But what's even cooler is this, check this out. Oh, look how easy that just got. I didn't think it'd be that easy. So uh, let me show you how I did that real quick. For those of you who just might not know, there's one, two, three, four, five screws that look like that, that you're gonna have to take off. But now I have full access to the whole thing. So let's get started on prepping it for paint. Yo, check this out guys, all ready for paint. Just gotta finish cleaning it up as best as I can and she's ready. The bottom part right here, this plastic right here, this is called shrink wrap, used for like wrapping packages and stuff. And uh, yeah, I just wrapped it from mirror to mirror over there. And it's just coming across the front bumper. No paint can get onto it. Um, it's thin, but I'm pretty sure no paint can get onto it. Here, look. Ain't nothing can get in there. Here's the paint we're using, boys. Also, don't forget the clear coat. But let's get our first coat on right now. One thing I always learn from every single paint video is it goes super light on the first coat. So right there is all I did on my first coat. Here goes coat number two. So I went a little bit heavier on coat number two. You can barely see the old color that used to be there. Mainly just in spots that are hard to get, like inside of here. But I'll give this one like 20 minutes to dry. Here at the shop, being so thankful to have my little area and access to tools and stuff. Away from the rain, because as you can see, a storm is probably coming. I'm getting more and more excited about how it's gonna turn out. Fingers crossed that the blacks don't uh, make each other look bad. Third coat and final coat is on my people. Check it out. She's so shiny, just the paint as is. And now it's time for a clear coat. Also, yeah, I sprayed a coat on there and it made it a little more black and looks great. So I'm gonna leave that as is and put a clear coat on and install everything. I'll see you guys when I'm ready to put it all together. It's not even cleaned up yet. So uh, let's peel it all off and one, two, three. And boy, do I got something to show you guys. All wrapped up, ready to close the hood and give you guys the look of it. What do you guys think right there? Look how mean that looks from that side. Let's get a little closer. Show you guys exactly what I'm dealing with. The blocks are pretty close. I'm in love. Let's go get some shots to close off this video.